So, I have an interesting thing today. It's a ThinkPad T470S. It works, but, I see it's turning on, but it has one major problem, and that is that the keyboard doesn't work. Pressing all the numbers, nothing's happening. So, we're gonna do some things to try to see why it's doing that. Currently, the only way to use this computer is with an external keyboard. So luckily I have that, so you can sign in. And now, we have to do some things to see whether or not it will fix itself. So I already tried restarting it, as you can see from the beginning of this video. So that didn't work. And I already ins reinstalled Windows before, just I don't want to do it during the video, so I did that. And, uh, but maybe the driver is bad. Maybe there's no driver for this keyboard. All right, let's go into Chrome. Maybe we could find a driver for it. Another thing that it does is it, uh, beeps. Now, you hear that? That is because multiple keys are being pressed that can't be pressed at the same time. So, the keyboard is probably trying to press all the keys at once or, some, or something like that. Which can make it go bad, because the key can't respond if it's already being pressed. This is the official Lenovo website. Don't, don't download drivers from other websites, like it's not the official Lenovo website, because it, it might contain viruses, and you don't want that. Now we're downloading the driver, now we open it up, click yes. And then, try to install the driver. Alright, it's installing. And it's done. And now we go through the setup. Now it's installing again. And it's done. I must restart. Let's do that. I'm almost done working on the updates. Alright, it's done. So, now, we signed in through my fingerprint, but... Does the keyboard work? No, it still beeps. That means the same issue is happening. So, the driver didn't work, restarting it didn't work, and reinstalling the operating system didn't work. So, that means, as you can see, it still doesn't work. And the only thing that, even if we unplug the external keyboard, it still doesn't work. That means that we're gonna have to replace the keyboard. So in order to replace the keyboard, just shut it down. You always want to shut it down before starting on a repair. Just because stuff might happen if things are unplugged and plugged back in while it's being repaired. So, you also want to remove power from the board. Anyway, so now it's pretty simple to get the keyboard off. I bought this keyboard for 20 bucks on eBay, they're really not expensive. The only problem is that it doesn't have the backlight, and if you want the backlight and this little nipple here, uh, you're gonna have to pay extra. But I don't need this nipple, or really the backlight. And I don't think it's worth the 10 extra dollars to get the backlight, so I'm just not gonna have it. So what you do is you have to lift this up. You have to push this, this little membrane thing up. There's a little plastic piece in between the keyboard and the keys. You have to push up. And there are screws in here that you have to take out. Luckily, they're all Phillips screws. You can just loosen them until they start sliding. Those three are done, now onto this side. Alright, they're all out. Now, you just lift the keyboard out of its place. Easier said than done, but that's how you do it. All right, it's out. 
Now there are two ribbon cables here that we can unplug. If you want to do it the professional way, you can do this. And then pop these out. There's our old keyboard. Here's the new keyboard. Notice how it doesn't have that other cable. That other cable is for the backlight. Which I suppose you could potentially rob off of the old one. But it would be such a hassle that I don't think it's a very good idea to do. But anyway, all I do is just flip it like this. Plug it in. There we go, it's plugged in. Put the latch down. And... Put the keyboard in its place. You might have to wiggle it around. But before putting it in, you want to test it out. There we go. Now the keyboard works. You look at that. There we go. A bunch of the keys are sticky. That's probably just because of the plastic on top, though. But anyway, there you go. That's how you replace the keyboard, although you do have to put it back into the actual lap before you can say that you're completely done. Because if you don't, then you'll just have a loose keyboard and you could bend that connector. And it would not be a fun time. So you'd have to do this again. See, I'm holding multiple keys at the same time and it starts beeping. So that's what was going on. And it's not beeping anymore, too. So now you know how to replace your keyboard in a ThinkPad T470S, and maybe you don't need to replace it, and now you know what to do.